Hey there, it's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com. And today I want to talk to you about books, writing books, publishing books, doing your own book, book launches, uh, all that kind of fun stuff. And the first question is, are you already an author? If not, it could be one of the single most important things that you do to jumpstart your expert status, your credibility, uh, and even to get clients because people who have books get booked more to speak. Uh, they get looked at as more of an expert. And uh, I'm pleased to announce that I finally got a copy of my eighth book, which is My Journal or My Journey, My Journal. And this is a compilation of uh, little short uh, tips, basically. And I have tip number nine, and I'm going to tell you it, although there's a lot of other tips in here. There's, I don't even know how many pages. Day, it goes up to day 210 or something like that. So 210 days of journaling in this book that you can get on Amazon. Mine is day number 90. It will all work out in the end. Is what, my, what has fueled my entrepreneurial journey. After years of financial struggle, health issues, and lack of a deep love relationship, I realized I could step into my own faith in myself to do anything I thought possible. Today, I'm a highly successful speaker, author, and entrepreneur, making great money doing what I love. You can do this too if you believe in yourself. And then it uh, gives a quick little bio. And everybody was kind of sharing a story on what um, it's about what prompted the the change in your journey, what really it's inspired by um, trailblazing best-selling authors. So there's a lot of best-selling authors in here. Anyways, it's fun to get this book. I had to buy it myself because we didn't really get copies of it by being in part of it, which is fine because uh, it didn't cost me anything. It didn't cost me anything to be part of this book, you guys. So why not have books like this? Because as you can see behind me, and I've strategically set them up, uh, to be a good backdrop because I do a lot of videos, right? So I'm in actually six compilation books and then to have two of my own, four of which, four out of the eight are all international best-selling books. And I'm not saying that to impress you, um, but now it's just so fun. And I want to do, I'm going to do another book or two this year and then probably one a year moving forward because it's easier now. It's easier to get the books done once I got the first one done or once I was in a couple, okay? The one that was the hardest book was my own story, I must tell you. So when I wrote Love Yourself Successful, that one here, that was the hardest one to write. It actually took me three years of conceptualizing what I wanted to write in the book in order to actually get the words out, in order for them to download. But once I got the aha and the download, it just went straight out of me, right? And I was, I think I was literally typing for four straight days, two weekends in a row uh, that spring. And uh, I got it done in four days, pretty much, and then sent it off. And then the editing on all that stuff took forever because it was, it's hard to design or to decide on your first cover. Let me tell you, it's really hard. Now it's just like, oh, just put something on it because I've got so many books. But uh, I think not only is it fun, it gives you more confidence when you have a book. It, uh, it does open a lot of doors. I've got a lot more speaking gigs because of the Love Yourself Successful book, the Jumpstart Your New Business Now book, and now the compilation. I mean, it's just opened a lot of doors and especially a lot of speaking opportunities. So if you know that speaking can be your number one fastest path to cash, but without any of this, it's just you, right? And your expertise. So, and if you're not referred often, then it is kind of a little bit more challenging to get in the door. When I apply to speaking gigs these days, uh, they want to know what your book titles are and they want to know where your video is of you speaking, right? So I actually have multiple videos of me speaking and that's something you want to strive to get. I actually have an opportunity that could... Uh, um, a couple opportunities that I will share about, um, but I want to give you a couple quick tips about books first, and then I'll share a way that um, I can help you get published this year, and or I can help you create a video for your speaker reel or your website as well. Um, okay, so I sent this out in an email newsletter the other day, 
And, you know, whether you have your own business or you have a job, seriously, imagine being in a job or a company and having, uh, being the only author in the entire, you know, office space and uh, who the only one that has published a book. I mean, you're going to be like the rock star in the company, seriously. And then also, if you have kids, if you have kids, this is a great thing to lead by example and look, you know, look what mom did, look what dad did, seriously. I mean, they're going to be wowed by you. They might not be wowed by you at 15, but maybe when they're 25 or 35, they'll be like, wow, my mom's an author, right? And even at 10, at 8, 9, and 10, they're pretty in awe of it. Because I know my 10-year-old stepdaughter, she's like, oh, my God, you have a book. And and what, now that I have many books, it's not that big deal anymore, of course. But, uh, but yeah, they, it is pretty cool to have the kids look up to you in that way. And it inspires them to want to do more stuff for themselves as well. So there's a couple reasons. Um, imagine how many more speaking gigs you can get if you had a book, right? And how, the really the most important thing is, though, well, first of all, it'll change you to write your book, especially if you talk more about your story. Now, if you're writing fiction or something like that, that's fine too, because it's really about the lives that we change. It's about making a difference and making an impact in the people who read our books. And the, the longer you wait to write your book or you write your story or write your whatever it is, the longer you wait, the longer people's lives will not, will have to wait to be changed. Frankly, even if you just touch a hundred people with your book, seriously, that's a hundred people that need to hear your message. So you're being selfish for not getting that done. Okay, I'm gonna slap your hand. Get your hand out and slap your hand because you're being selfish. Stop it. You have you're self sabotaging yourself with your own excuses and limiting beliefs of why you're not getting this out because there's literally ways where you can get it out for very inexpensively. Like I said, that one cost me nothing to be in. I just had to apply and send my information in and then buy my own books if I want and I can resell them if I want to. Some of these other compilations over here cost me anywhere from $100 to $500. Not that much, right? Now the Jumpstart Your Blank book that I'm doing, where'd it go? This one here. That one I'm doing a, a volume two this year. 2019 is volume two. So you can be an author and jumpstart your blank. 20 authors max. I took too many last year and it was a big fat book, but we're going to do about 20 authors this year. And right now, if you get in in the first few authors that I get, you get to save $500. So you want to look at getting into a book, whether it's the compilation book. I know other people that are doing compilation books too. Trust me, it's an easy way to get published. Okay. Um, there's seven types of books though that you can do. So let me just throw a couple ideas at you. So you can write your signature system, which is say you have a six step transformational system or, or you take people through a process in your business or your service or your coaching or whatnot. And it, it requires four different modules that you teach them on or train them on. Okay. Well, you break those four different modules down into sub topics and then you have that many chapters. It's super simple. So you can write about your signature process or signature system, the thing that you teach and that you want to be known for because that will actually sell into then your program, right? That's the most logical book to write if you are, especially if you're a coach or consultant. And that's the book that I wrote just last year. I waited to write that book. That's the um, Jumpstart Your New Business Now book. It's my 10 steps to jumpstarting your business, um, jumpstarting your business in 90 days or less. And uh, I could have, should have, could have, should have, would have maybe written it a long time ago, but I was more interested in getting my, my story out. That, that was the one that was calling me first, okay? So it doesn't matter. It's whatever's calling you first. Whatever's going to be easier for you to get done, though. So the second type of book is your story, right, where you kind of go into the lessons that you learned, your experience, possibly it could be a really deep story. I know some people that write about uh, sexual abuse, and that's it opens up a whole can of worms with the family situation and all that. So, I mean, some of those, you know, it takes a lot of uh, work and, and thinking around how you're going to position that book. And uh, But some of it needs to get heard. But who needs to read it is the question you want to ask yourself. Book number, type number three is a tip book. 
you could write a book with just a bunch of tips. So kind of like that journal book that I was talking about. You could have just a tip on every single book, and you could do it in a big, giant font, okay? A tip on each on each page, whether you have space to take notes or not, or you just give a tip on every single page. It can be a small book. It can be a large book. It can be a square book. It can be, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what kind of size it is. It doesn't matter how many pages it is. It's a book is a book is a book, you guys, okay? It can be a quote book. It can be your quotes or some of your quotes and some that you love, or it can be all quotes of other people that you just admire and like and uh, want to put into a book. Honestly, it doesn't even have to be your own quotes. And that could be a book that you put your name on the front cover because you're publishing it. And yes, you can do other people's quotes in your book. And there's stuff that I can share more about the how to do it later. Um, the compilation or anthology is where there's multiple authors in a book. And I know at least um, five or six other women and men who do these books and look for authors anywhere from a thousand dollars to like a six thousand dollar investment um, I would say to be in a compilation book at this point uh, is usually what you'll find and then they do all the work you just write the one chapter the one story according to whatever guidelines they have and the theme of the book and then uh, usually it includes copies of the books as well. Mine includes, uh, I want to say, 25 or 35 copies of the book when you're done. You can always buy more at cost, okay? Um, the sixth type of book is interview style or case study. So if you are someone who has lots of great clients' case studies, um, say you're a fitness instructor or something like that, and you want a book. Well, go take a lot of your um, stories of your clients and their before and after pictures and showcase a bunch of case studies, getting people motivated to do some fitness training with you, for, for example. Um, that is a book, okay? If you don't know what to write about or you're not a writer, you don't feel like you're a writer, then come up with a bunch of questions that um, would make a great book if, we're, if you answered them and have somebody interview them out of you on a recording on a recorded call, then get it transcribed. And you can take that and you can actually just put the interview itself into the book as is if you want. Uh, or you and obviously with a little bit of editing, or you can really edit it and make it more of a, an easier read. But you know the 4040 rules book is all interview questions. So every, that's a compilation book, and basically I was given the six questions or whatever it was, and I had to answer those questions, and then I don't know if they um, structured it as far as number of word count or not, but I think they pretty much published anything that I wrote in there, and, uh, and that was easy. And so that was given to me on a Word document, and I filled in the answers, typed them in, sent it off and I was done in like an hour for that chapter. That was super easy. But it can be interviewed out of you over the phone and talked out if you don't want to write it out. Um, I suggest that to some of my clients even. Uh, and then blog posts. Maybe you've written a ton of blog posts over the years and they're good meaty blog posts. Well, let's go pull them and you know cut out anything that's date specific or timely or whatever and take all that content and put them into different chapters and sort them or something. Honestly, you can do that kind of a book, okay? And then a bonus, number eight actually, is other transcribed content that you already have uh, written or audio recorded. If you have stuff already recorded or you've already written stuff, then why not just take that and take the transcriptions of it or the written part of it and have it magically formatted into something people would like to read. I did that to a certain extent with my Jumpstart Your New Business Now book because it was a, a series of 10 audio trainings that I had. I did have handouts though with a bunch of questions and filling questions and then I, have an, I had 10 90 minute audio trainings. We transcribed that, we merged the transcription with the questionnaire and we made it more of a re easy read of a chapter. So I had somebody that helped me work on that. I didn't really have to do a lot of the work on that. Um, I did because I went through the whole thing afterwards but I had somebody clean it up initially so that I could just go through it. So that is, you probably already have stuff that's written or, or audio recorded 
that you can actually turn into a book of some sort right now. Or videos. What if you do a lot of video tips or Facebook Lives? You take the transcripts of those and voila, you'll have a book. Seriously, like this could be a chapter in a book. This audio right now could be a chapter in a book. I have no idea how many words this is going to be transcribed, but it would make an amazing chapter and I might have to do that actually myself <laughs> now that I'm saying it out loud. So those are a ton of different ideas and my whole goal with clients when they don't have a book yet is to figure out the easiest way to get a book done for you and the easiest way. So whichever one of these is going to be the easiest for you to get a book done first, that's the first one I would say you write. Then you can work on a different one or one that you really feel called to write. But let's get you at least a book. Let's get it done in the next 30, 60, 90 days so that you have something to go on. Okay, so that's what I suggest. I do show people how to do this, how to self-publish yourself. Um, I can give you options of other publishers. I could publish the book for you if you want and handle all the editing or proofreading, or I can just give you resources on where to go. Um, there's a lot of different ways to make it as easy as and affordable as possible, and that's what I want for you to get this done. It's just about getting it done. Let's get it done so we can get more done, so we can keep moving on to the next thing, okay? So the two opportunities that I have for you today is one, if you want to be featured in the compilation book, the Jumpstart Your Blank compilation book, um, this one, uh, we had authors such as Jumpstart Your Life, Jumpstart Your Critical Thinking, Jumpstart Your Travel, Jumpstart Your Book, Jumpstart Your Blog, we had Jumpstart Your... Um, uh, emotional intelligence, we had jumpstart your aligned life. We, I mean, there's any anything you want to write about, jumpstart your, and then you fill in the blank on your expertise. So it could be jumpstart your love life, jumpstart your mindset, jumpstart your health, jumpstart your, your weight loss. We had weight loss in the last book. We had, you know, so it doesn't matter if the, the chapter was taken in the last book or not. This is its own book, so you can come up, and there's a whole bunch of words and examples on the on the info page. If you go to my website, if you go to jumpstartyourmarketing.com, I'm trying to figure out how to tell you to get there because I don't have an easy URL. Jumpstartyourmarketing.com forward slash, um, well, if you look at the coaching, so put your cursor over the coaching tab, and then um, it'll say become an author in compilation book. And so if you click on that, you'll get to the page where you can watch the video of me explaining a little bit more about who this is for and all that kind of thing. If you scroll down on that page, you'll see a list of a ton of different ideas of words that you could use for your chapter. You'll see everything you get, how many chapters, when it's going to be published, all that stuff. It's jumpstartyourmarketing.com forward slash jumpstart compilation, comp I L A T I O N. So, compilation, jumpstart compilation. Um, so, that's one thing you could do if you really want to be an author. And if you don't want to do the compilation and you just want to do a call with me, then about how to get information on publishing and things and maybe get do a few calls to talk to me so I can help you get the book done. Um, I'm open to doing that. Just go to my contact page, which is under the About drop-down, and you can send me an email and let me know, or fill out the interest page uh, form on the compilation book, too. You can just say, I'm not, I don't want to do the compilation book, Trina, but I want help do my own book. And that'd be, that's fine. And then we'll schedule a call, okay? Uh, the second thing is if you need video for your website, as a speaker, um, to get booked on on more stages, uh, you're gonna want you're gonna need to get some video sooner than later. So what I do every year is I have the speaker success boot camp uh, live event. It's two and a half days, three days really for VIPs. And um, if you do the VIP ticket, you actually walk away with a five minute video clip of yourself in front of the room, in front of the audience, with the audience in the video, uh, showing that you're the speaker. 
and you get that for your website. So you get the raw video content for your website. Um, regular price is like $8.97 for that ticket. But if you can, if you get in earlier, sooner than later, it could be as low as four ninety seven for the event and the video, all included. Plus, you also get my entire Jumpstart Yourself as a Speaker Home Study training, which sells for nine ninety seven on the website alone. So that training alone sells for a thousand dollars. You get that for free when you do this video. Uh, or the VIP ticket at the June event. So it's June 27, 28, 29 in, in the greater Sacramento, California area, uh, in Roseville actually, but it's in the greater Sacramento area. And if you don't need a video or don't want a video, that's fine. You can just attend. Right now the early bird pricing is, in, is on sale for $97. So you can attend the event for $97. But for an extra 400 you could actually walk away with a video and my speaker training. So that's up to you. If you go to jumpstartspeakerevent.com, jumpstartspeakerevent.com, you will find the information for the Speaker Success Bootcamp in June. And I'd love to see you there. And you'll learn a lot more about books there too, but, um, but how to work your book into a business how to get speaking gigs with your book, all that kind of stuff. So it really, it, they do go hand in hand. Writing books and speaking go hand in hand. And all of it means that you have to have a business. And you need to be profitable, right? You need to make money. You can't just go spending money on a book and then not sell it or not build a business around it. So that's what I was. I wanted to talk to you guys today about and inspire you to get some books written or at least one. Let's just at least get one under your belt. So... If you have questions, please reach out and talk to me. I want to be a resource for you. I want to be, uh, however I can, please uh, just go to my website, fill out the contact form, and tell me what you're thinking. And uh, let's chat, okay? Have a great day, everyone. Katrina Sawa signing off. Bye now.